podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECEO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 How no, you no, doing no. today? I'm blessed. Man, hey, man, my boy's in the building, man. This guy right here, man, I got so much respect for. And he in town, so he come by. Hey, man, put it down for the hungry hound, man. I got to <laughs> ride with this nigga on, on the panel, man. <laughs> Pippi Ken, what's going on, man? Hey, man, what's up, man? It's up there and it's stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> man, how are you doing, man? Like, you looking like, man, you looking like money as always. Well, you know, man, you know, uh, hey, man, we do we do what we do, man. We try to always, you know, be an example. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they talk their talk, but they don't walk their walk. We walk their walk and talk their talk. So we speak with two tongues, the one in our mouth and one in that one in our mouth and one in our shoes. So we walk the walk and we talk the talk. So we ain't gonna talk that flash shit that we fly. You <laughs> did, <laughs> man. So man, you know, uh, last time you was here, man, it went crazy. After you left, it was a lot of stuff that happened. It was a, all type of different scenarios but the craziest one was the the thing where they talked about the pmc and the, and at the end of the day they turned the scenario it was over millions of views on someone that was a negative narrative actually which we didn't even speak on here they right. twisted the story and tried to make it something that it wasn't even spoke on to be here Absolutely. so and, and 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 i love the way you went on the different platforms where you were at and spoke on it and just tried to clear it up in a way. So just, I wanted to talk about that a little bit cause it well, did happen know, here. It's only fitting that it, we that we uh, actually, you know, pretty much uh, cleared up here because, you know, this is where it kind of was the embryonic Correct. stage of where it happened. So, you know, first of all, you and I was interviewing, uh, you know, you was interviewing me and we was talking about Pimp C. Correct. And Bo was, of course, yeah, you know, he Bobo. was talking. His, Bobo was talking his mess, and I was talking my mess, and it came out organically. You know what right. I mean? It wasn't like no thing where we were just trying to get no cloud or you know, planned. it wasn't nothing planned. So a lot of people don't understand that. And you know, first of all, Pimp C is my brother. You Correct. There's a lot of stories that I can tell. You know what I mean? But I just don't. You know, it it, it got to slip out. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. you know, I was uh, we was talking. I was talking to a guy the other day. He did an interview. He said, "Yeah, man, I heard somebody tried to." Uh, put a hit out on you in Texas, Texas, in Houston. I said, they did. You know, with some famous rappers, and this ain't no cap. They know who they is, I ain't got to say their name. Correct. But guess what happened? I took the pistol from the nigga, and whoop, pistol whooped the nigga, and called them niggas this, the next day, you know what I'm saying, me, and, and, and I seen the niggas ever since then. We cool now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, I did what I had to do, you know what I'm saying, me, and, and you know, like I tell niggas, you know what I'm saying, man, you know, first of all, you got to understand, I was G before I was P. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But so, so the point that I'm trying to make. Hell, the you saying them, that you pistol whoop somebody? I ain't even know nothing no, about No, 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 no. Some niggas, this some rappers, real big time rappers, and this ain't no cap. They yeah. know what they is. They, 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 it was, you know, I don't know if it was surrounding the Pimp C shit. Cause where Pimp did it, this happen? This in was Houston? in Houston, Texas. Okay. Like when? At the travel lodge. Okay, at the so travel the, lodge. So, so these niggas, what they did, they, 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 t they kept trying to get me to come to this one club. And I, so I'm telling niggas and like they nigga, were from I, Houston, no, huh? They were yeah, from Houston. No, the niggas was from Kansas City. Okay. But they they was plugged with the Houston niggas, you know okay. what I mean? And, and some niggas in Atlanta, you know, it was Atlanta right. and Houston niggas, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I uh, I tell a nigga, no, nah, nigga, I'm over here at uh, a Chris joint. You know, Chris, they got all the clubs and yeah, shit in yeah. Houston. You know, he used to have Harlem nights. So I'm at Chris Club. I fuck yeah, with Chris. I so I'm at Chris night. Club. I said, no, nah, I'm fucking with Chris. I want to go to the other strip club. So the niggas, you know, they came, and you know, the little nigga that did it, he dead now. Yeah. The little nigga out of uh, Kansas City, he died. You know, I met his mom. It was just some real, uh, some real lame shit. Grimy. It was some grimy shit. So he 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 tried to pull me over. I mean, he tried to pull me. To, he, he said, "Man, you know, woo woo, woo you know, blah blah blah." And I said, "Uh, yeah, man, I said that. You know what I'm saying?" And then he called, you know, one of the dudes, you know, one of one of the the, the rapper dudes' manager, and put him on the phone and. Uh, so uh, they talking and shit, you know what I'm saying? And this my man. So I'm like, yeah, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas supposed to be my man. You know what I'm saying? Me. So uh, I, uh, I I I trusted this nigga. So he kept saying, man, let's go somewhere and chill. So we had two little little stripper chicks with us. You know what I'm saying? You know, I knew the chicks and they were my chicks, but I knew them. And they they wanted the stripper chicks. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I ride with you because I was like not ride with him and the strippers. I ride with them because I knew him and he was in town. Yeah. So. Uh, Little homie, you know what I'm saying? He had a nigga with him, like a little, you know, he, the nigga was acting real fitchy, you know, like he was mean mugging a lot, you know, like he was building himself up to kill me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm a, I'm a street nigga, so I, I'm peeping this Catch nigga. On. I'm like, this nigga is, this nigga is too, he, he's too jittery. 
you know, and the little the little little sister out of uh, out of Alton, Illinois, uh, Bre Breesha, she was with me. She had verified the story, so uh, you know we uh we 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 get to the uh, uh first we pull the pull filling station. We get to the gas station, and the nigga, you know what I'm saying? He was looking, you know what I'm saying? I said, nigga, I said this nigga's acting extra, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't even addressed him at that point. No, because the nigga, I, the nigga that fat. Oh, I almost said his name. The, the, the <laughs> nigga, the nigga, the nigga that did it, man, him was cool. I, I met his mama, you know, we was in Kansas City, we was chilling, right. you know what I'm saying? It was my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't even think nothing of this shit. And then, you know, the nigga they put on the phone, you know, I, I did videos and shit with these niggas, right. you know what I'm saying? I was cool with these niggas, so I didn't think these niggas, and then, you know, they Because had in situations like that, you But these niggas, these niggas, niggas, these niggas had like, money. Hey, these, niggas, these niggas, everybody okay. know these niggas. These niggas are so means to record. These niggas had money. Money. So I didn't think these niggas would be on no shit like right. that. You know what I mean? So, uh, 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 but we went to the little weed nigga house mm -hmm. over in, uh, at the projects before we went because uh, Abrisha wanted some weed. Mm -hmm. So we went to the little weed nigga house, and this nigga here, <laughs> this nigga here, man, he tell her that this y'all ain't gonna. She said we'll be back. She said y'all ain't gonna make it back. But she didn't tell me this until after you know the. So so let me get back to the story. So so. Uh, <laughs> So, no, nah, it's crazy, man. This is dog. This is, <laughs> hey, hey, boss, this is the craziest shit. CEO, this is the craziest shit that ever happened in my life. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm walking behind you, walking behind me. You know how you got the spirit? I just feel like this nigga was finna shoot me in the back of my head. So, we got in the room. We get in the room. Now, I shouldn't have never even came. It was a cheap ass hotel. I should have, everything, everything Didn't told me. Fit right. But, but I'm, I'm too, I guess I'm too gangster. I'm too, I'm, I'm, I'm like, these niggas ain't gonna dare fuck with me, and I think that's been you know that's how I got shot and shit. A lot of times, you know, I, you know, I, I I don't think a nigga gonna do nothing because you know I used to be the nigga doing shit to exactly. Niggas. So you know, what I'm saying I don't feel I don't have no fear, of niggas. You know what I'm saying? But it's so, a karma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was karma. It was karma in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? Me, but you know, so we get in there and him and Brisha go in the back. So Brisha walked out and did like this, like I don't know what's up with this nigga, but the nigga fat. Uh, damn, man. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the, the nigga that, that, that was with us, he, he go out the door, right? He left the nigga in there. So I, no bullshit, CO. I'm thinking, right? Because of all the shit, I mean, this is this why I, I give praise you know, to, 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 the man to, to the man above because he prepared me. Yeah. He prepared me to not to trust this dude. Yeah. Everything this dude did, it was signs. That's yeah. why I say signs and symbols is for the conscious mind. That's right. So you know what I'm saying? Then by him calling this particular person, you know what I'm saying, which is the manager of, of, of another rapper, you know what I'm saying, a big rap time rapper. I'm, I'm like, you know, okay, that shit didn't make no sense. So we get in the motherfucking uh, place, and, uh, and and so the nigga walked, after Brisha did this, he walked past, all I heard was click, click. But the only, now if he was did click, click, and I didn't know what's on some bullshit, I'd be like, dude, playing with a gun. But I'd already, God had already That's prepared scary. me that you I was gonna great. get killed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, this nigga tried to kill me, so I, dog, I jumped up and I, you know what I'm saying? The gun, the bullet went right past me. I grabbed it, so I grabbed, the, grabbed my mother hand. Then, you know, I did a little flip. Yeah. Flipped the nigga, got him on the ground. Yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? Me, I was in I was in shock because I didn't know if I was shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was holding the nigga there, and Breesha and the other chick, they were screaming. And I'm talking about, we in a fucking hotel, man. Nobody coming, knocking. We, it was a shot. So so once once we get the nigga on, once I get the nigga on the ground, then, you know what I'm saying? He, he was doing this. He was bending the gun. And I was sitting there, I was, you know, just in, in some kind they of weird. They tried to grab him out and knock him out or something? No, no, I, I was shocked. No, I'm talking, talking the, girls. About the girls. They was in the closet. They was hiding. They was in the closet they screaming back. for their life. They getting out the way. They was screaming because they thought, you know, because, you know, it, the, shit was, the shit was yeah. real. So when I seen the nigga put the pistol, I, I, I just laid on his chest. And he, pow, he shot again and missed me. Then that's when I went berserk. And then I pulled him, took the pistol. I pistol him. I was finna shoot him in the head. I said, I'm in Texas. I said, they got the death penalty. They got the death penalty. I said, you know, I said, I don't even want to go through this shit. So, you understand me? You know, I pissed on my You that much of a conscious thinker during because all I did a lot of time adrenaline you know, you to time. think about something like that. You know Remember, what I mean? did a lot of time in penitentiary. Right. I'm, so a, I, think I'm a thinker. I'm not no right. regular nigga out here. I'm a real right. thinker. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I'm thinking fast. That's how I was able to get the. Fast I could have died. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, I'm a chess player. So, I'm thinking all the way through the whole process. So, so. So when I did shoot him, I called the niggas. I said, yeah, you know, I, I, I ran with him. You know, he'll tell you, I mean, he, he know who he is, but you know, mm -hmm. me and him since made up, you know what I'm saying? He, he a good nigga, you know what I mean? I, I, I did some some crazy shit. I ain't gonna say what it was because they tell who, who who it is. But I did some crazy shit. I should I said some shit. That so I you found out the reason why he tried to kill you? I know the reason why they oh, was okay. trying to kill me because I was talking shit. 
to a oh, bunch okay. of motherfuckers at one time. It was okay. a bunch of rappers, you but know what I'm you, saying? You, if you go back and you see the, I, you know, I, I was talking crazy 50 Cent, I talked crazy Lil Wayne, I talked crazy T.I., I talked crazy all them niggas. I was talking crazy because I said, they said that they tricking if you got it. And I said, it is tricking if you got it. And I said, y'all got, I said, y'all got a number one song pimping all over the world, Ludacris. You got a uh, 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 Pimp Squad, Click T.I., and you got uh, a P.I.M.P., 50 Cent, so I went off, which I was out of order. And I apologized mm -hmm. to each and every one of them many times. I said, I meant 50 Cent actually called me. Remember Pim Curly? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. But that Pim Curly, yeah. that, was, that, mm -hmm. that, was be, that was the result of that. Yeah. Uh, that was the joke that me and 50 did to kind of clean it up. You know, what and then is, I went what, back, what back and forth. What did T.I., did he, you ever get to talk to him about? I never talked to, to T.I., but I talked to his manager. I talked to his people. Like, I, told, no. I told him, I said, you know, I told him, I told all them niggas, like, I talked to uh, uh, Booney. Booney was like, I said, Booney, man, I was just, Tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, because I was eating off the pimping. You know what I mean? Right. Everybody was paying me for intros and outros. So these niggas was talking about tricking, they got it. And I was like, no, oh, man, please don't do that. I didn't want them to do that. So instead of being a gentleman and coming to them directly and, and breaking it down to them, because Nelly had pimp juice, you know, I was winning. Yeah. Niggas was giving me $8,000, $9,000 just to talk on CDs. So you know what I mean? I was trying to really defend myself, but I didn't know I was being offensive. So. So uh, long and short, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, some shit came that way, and you know, like I said, you know, uh, shit happened, and you know, like I said, man, you know, it's crazy, man, because you know, <laughs> being with Pimp C and and hanging out with him, but who? But no, you, no, what I'm saying, you being what the type of guy you are, and you and him being together, I can only but imagine that crazy some of the things that was wanna, happening. But ain't, right? that ain't that crazy? Somebody want to kill Pimp and Ken, though? No, 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 that's I real mean, crazy. I don't, I don't even, I don't even, you don't even the put profile. that kind of energy out you know there. Like like that. That. That's what I was saying. That's that's what was so crazy to me. Yeah, and you know the, first, I mean? I, the only thing I think about is the fact that they want to kill you over the stuff that you're saying, just words. But that's like you did anything. That's the way they are, though. It's just but the niggas. But one thing, one thing, them niggas can say. Is you understand me that you know, I knew everything, but ain't, ain't no motherfucker went to jail, ain't no motherfucker got no drama, ain't no motherfucker got killed, nothing about that shit. You know, I handled shit like a, a gentleman. I made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Me, you know, Hold they they sent they sent their goons. I took the goon pistol. I hope they got a refund from that nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I pistol whipped the nigga. You dig what I'm saying? I call them, I, I vent, and I left it at that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they was like, man, you better watch them niggas. Let me tell you, I walk. Through Atlanta, all that shit by myself. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, I didn't see them niggas plenty of time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't scared of them. I ain't scared, they ain't scared of me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no hoe. They ain't no hoe. We understand that. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why a nigga would want to kill Pim and Ken. No, that's no, why. I, I that, 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 that's, that's the problem. Why would a nigga want to kill me? You know what I'm saying? Me over some words. At the same time, right. it was a bunch of niggas saying worse than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then you. I'm saying, but, no, but I'm saying, but you in that time, you got these cups. Y'all running around here. Y'all really, really controlling that. People don't talk about that era. But that was a time when that whole movement, the pimp. Ology and all that stuff before we even I think Pimp C did Pimpology when y'all was running around when you did the the stuff with uh, Fifty and all that that was a whole movement uh, done one I remember that man but you know but you, but you know what though them niggas was doing the same thing. They was all talking about each other and, and, and going at it. You know, 50 and, and, and Ross was going yeah. at the time. You know, Fat Joe and 50, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I didn't do nothing that nobody else did. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mean. But the fact that, you know, but then one of my partners said, Ken, man, you know, you you the only nigga out of all them niggas that's 1,000% street. Them niggas 100% street, but you're a thousand. So your word resonated. So I said, yeah, that might have made a little sense. You know, maybe them niggas probably feel that if this nigga say, you know, you know, it, it probably going to damage my career. It's going to fuck up something. But I want everybody to know anybody that ever said something too man it was never meant to be that yeah. you know what I'm saying me and like I said I I had t t times you know to talk to the niggas you know what I'm saying they know who they is we know who they is they know what happened we know what happened I didn't talk to them they know man I ain't know nothing but what about and you know and the crazy thing you know, I got a bunch of nephews and a bunch of sons and a bunch of niggas that will kill niggas yeah, yeah. I mean I, I can level blocks and shit yeah. you know, I, got yeah. I got I got GDs Vice Lord Gangsters you know my cousins all them niggas in that shit so I ain't on that shit I'm, I'm on the peace machine. That's why we started the Hip Hop Fraternity to bring these brothers together, man. We trying to stop the violence. We trying to stop that wickedness and that killing, man. Because it, it's just, we, we people, we die over petty stuff, man. I've had you know learned, and, to to learn, learn, and to learn how to resolve without using pistols, but with words. We, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, when you look at Larry Hoover Jr., who's campaigning for to get his father out, and he's been on this show a few times, it's just like, for that whole, you know, thing that you just said about the hip hop fraternity, it matches with uh, growth and development the way that they're trying to 
basically push the narrative well, you know, now. My, you know what well, I'm saying? Well, you know, my cousin, Larry Hoover, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say his name, but, you know, they can see, you know, he gave me, you know, he all on my Instagram, give me a shout out. My cousin, you know, and, and, and you know, I, all of them, they, you know, they, they was there when that shit started, man. They helped, yeah. write, they helped write the uh, the growth and development thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the new concept, you know, mm -hmm. 215, 19, you know, they, they all own that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know all about that shit. You know what I'm saying? We, me and my, my cousin Dagwood, we're going to be doing a whole thing on his pops, you know, Ike Taylor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, you know, how that shit, you know, affected everything and you know when I was in the joint you know how a lot of them brothers you know when I was the uh, grand sheik I was the head nigga and, and a lot of niggas know I was the number one nigga in the penitentiary you know I, I ran the joint you know what I mean yeah. the Moles I was a Moorish American so you know all the GDs and the vice lords all them niggas was down with us you know what I'm saying they yeah. would come you know what I mean I stopped a lot of niggas from getting killed you know what I'm saying you know we used to come through we used to get them niggas uh, you know Zuzus and Wham Wham's what we call it the penitentiary yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying me and you know and you know, this was in the feds you know yeah. so niggas come through, they from Chicago, they from Milwaukee, they from Ohio, they from the Midwest. Hey man, homie, come on over here with us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and I was number 22. So how I always you, had a peaceful mentality. How do you feel about like the gangs? Like, do we're here in a situation where gangs are relevant. Like they are here, they ain't going nowhere. You know, it started in my hometown. Mostly. But how do you how do how do you do something to sway the narrative? Because they don't have to be a bad perception on the hey. fact that people joining together. See, Joining together is a game. CEO, hip hop attorney. He, Got this, it. Bro, this brother's a vice lord. Okay. Boogie Man. So that he, helps. I so get Boogie, it. Boogie Man's a gangster. You know, Cheney was a motherfucking uh, blood. You know, uh, Claybo is a motherfucking uh, 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 Crip, Nutty by Crip. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, e is a motherfucking uh, Pomona Crip. So we got Crips and Bloods. You know what I'm saying? We got GDs and Vice Lords in our organization. That's dope. And ain't no fighting. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's on uh, Facebook. It's going viral. It's a video we did showing all of them coming together. Dope. So, you know, my whole thing, right, being because, you know, I got cousins in Chicago that's Vice Lords and cousins that's a GD that's way up there. I had the privy to be around all of them, and I know it's just it's it's not it's not even got nothing to do with gangs. It's got a lot to do with environmental pressure. It's got a lot to do with peer pressure. It's got a lot to do with economic, you know, I mean, depression. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stress in our communities. A lot of brothers that's economically depressed, and you know, like when you're hungry, man, you know, don't nothing make sense to you. But what you know I can't understand is, anytime groups are designed, I feel like it's caused division. Because that's really what it is. If we all came together as a unit, as a one group, to help this community, just like what you're doing with hip hop fraternity, hip hop fraternities, bringing all of them together. But who implanted all of these different groups everywhere? Well, well, you know, you know, you got to look at it, you know, psychologically, right? If you think about the GDs, they six point star. You know, love, life, loyalty, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right. You know, uh, vice lords and uh, L. Rookins, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, right? But you're talking about star, six-point Jewish star, five-point Muslim star. Mm. Psychologically, we fight Muslims and Jewish wars, and we don't even know it. Exactly. You know, we, 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 got, we, 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 we don't know the symbol of these, of these signs and how divisive they've been over the years. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is a war that's been going on for years and it's somehow exactly. it has made its way into the black community. So black men are fighting wars. They don't even know what they fight for and it's psychological. The five never loved the six. The Muslim never loved the, the, the Israelis and the Israeli never loves the Muslim. That's why you got the Palestinian, Palestinian and Muslim and uh, uh, Palestinian and Jewish uh, uh, conflict. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's psychological. Then you got to think about it too. Initially, when Huey Newton and uh, H. R. Brown and Elvis Cleavage and all them brothers, when they started the the Black Panthers, were never about no uh, gangs. They, you know, when I went, the, right. you know, when I was, I lived on, I lived on 63rd Street at one time. Mm -hmm. The Black Stones used to be over there. Jeff Ford, all them, right. they used to have breakfast. After breakfast, you know, they had a program, a Larry Hoover, now they used to feed the kids. Because it was all, all about that. unity. It was positive. It so, was all about feeding the family, so, feeding the, the community, what, helping people. And that's what I don't like about these younger kids who are joining all of these gangs is they're just joining because of the name of it, not knowing why it started can, can I, can or I where interject? it came from. Go ahead. Okay, when you think about today gang, right, you got to mm -hmm. think about Lil Wayne. That's what I was about I mean, to say. I think about Snoop Dogg. You got to think about, look, look you know this is something. We interviewed... Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Jeff Ford's grandson, right, and uh, Prince Amir, and he talked about uh, pretty much uh, was it uh, Kevin, Kevin Gates. Gates? He said that he had used his grandfather, you know, his father's name, and it's in the music, but he don't know him. And it was crazy to me because he was like, not only him, uh, NBA Youngboy. So a lot of time, the hip hop scene 
cultivates and look, moves look, look, the look, whole look, narrative. Look, look when I was hot. Look how many times they used my name. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my name, Nelly. I, I, man, my name been mentioned. I can I can just go past the what's the name? Uh, Project Pat. I can just go. I mean, if my name, you know, uh, they use my my lyrics. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, uh, LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? Let your next move be your best. My stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they, you know, it's culture. So we are like the the the, the Primes and the Pepsi Masons, and you know, they talk about what's that dude named uh, uh, Alpo and you know, yeah, uh, Alpo. Uh, Rich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All Rich. them guys. Them guys were folklores. They was ghetto folklore. They was ghetto heroes. So you know what I mean? That's the that's what we talk about when we in the barbershop. That's when we talk about when we ain't no uh, boss talk. You know what yeah. I mean? We talk about Larry Hoover. Mm -hmm. We talk about Jeff Ford. You know, we talk about, you know, uh, Mickey it, Caldwell and, and all the rest of them. But brothers. it's good and bad when they talk about you because then like if it's a case where say you've gotten older and you're not as relevant anymore, when these newer rappers are talking about you, it gets you back hot. It gets you relevant with a younger Group, group of people, it depends on but, what you're but doing. it goes bad, bad, and, bad and good. The ones who are in prison, like your Larry Ford, Jeff, I mean, Larry, I mean, Larry Hoover. Hoover, Jeff Ford, and so forth. When you have rappers who are talking about them, and these men are trying to get out of prison, and they're talking about them in a way where they're still in these games. They don't know. They don't even clue. They don't know these right. dudes. They weren't even born. Exactly. When, so you know, it, it, it more harm them than it's good for them. You see what it's I like mean? It's like what Rick Ross did. I think I'm big meets Larry Hoover. It it it's it sounds dope in the club, but when a person trying to get out of prison, they don't want to they don't want to go back to those thoughts no more. Exactly. They don't want to deal but, with but, that. But you know what? You know what? The sad case is that you know people like myself and Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford. You know, you know we put that out in the atmosphere. My mom used to say, exactly. "Son, my mom used to say, son, don't Be speak it because you can't mm -hmm. bring it back." Mm -hmm. So all the things That's that we, all the things that we did, especially you know in today's I mean? society with social media and everything, yeah, you well, definitely well, can't well, bring well, it back. Well, everything we did is coming back to hunt us. Right. Malcolm X said the truth, the chicken is coming home to roost. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Everything that we did in the past, That's you know, real. that when we was doing to build our image, because you know the first thirty years of a man's life is legacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the next thirty years is dynasty. So exactly. So after Larry Hoover and Pippa Ken and Jeff Ford, all of them hit the thirty year mark. It's about, you know, we're thinking about our children. We're thinking about generational wealth. We're thinking about how we're going to lead something to our kids. So it, we don't have that same perspective no more. But that legacy, that first 30 years, is gangster. <laughs> Damn it. You know, yep, kill yep. it. You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. So that's what you get left with. You know, like a, a lot of times, you know, I, I say this all the time. People say, Pimp and Ken. I say, Pimp and Ken. Not period, Pippa Ken, comma, you know, uh, founder of hip hop fraternity. Oh, Pippa really? Ken, comma, author, Pippa Ken, comma, literary agent, Pippa Ken, uh, comma, filmmaker. So people is putting, like, I got this from uh, TDJ. He said people put a period where they need to be putting commas. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? They need to be Larry Hoover, you know, comma, you know, uh, Political uh, 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 advisor, you know, he had Gator and all them, and I, and you know, we anybody in Chicago know what they said. Gates to go to polls, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Larry Hoover, you know what I'm saying? Me uh, said. mentor, philanthropist, you know, you know how many murders this man didn't stop? Yeah. You know, you know how many people he said, man, let him make it. Saved a lot. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, so we got to free Larry Hoover. You know what I'm saying? We got to free Jeff That's Ford real. exactly because. If America really wants to see a transition, if they really want to see something uh, happen, they got to quit glorifying the criminals. But how That's hard is it for you? Um, and you're out here. You're not in prison, and these men are in prison. But how hard is it for you to change the narrative of your name when people see you and say, you know, Pimp and Ken? They're not putting that comment and adding all of the the things that you are doing now. They're still thinking about Only you black as folks. that person. I'm, I, I am a literary agent for one of the biggest companies in right. the world, CBS. I ain't never heard her name one of them white folks up at CBS the same and she said, oh, that's Pippi King, he's a pimp. It's all white women, old white women, one white man, we sitting down at the table, you know what they talking about? Oh, this is the marketing plan, here's the strategy, we're gonna hit you up, with, uh, we're gonna put you on CBS, we're gonna put you on The View. We just was having a, a, a discussion about Ice-T book, it just came out. I, I, I can show you the emails, they made, hey, we, we're gonna put Ice-T on, uh, on The View, we're gonna put him on The Late Show. This is the conversation they have, they don't never address me as It's only our people. It's only our people because they, you know, I mean, it's that Uncle Tom mentality. You know, you know, you remember slavery? So in slavery, you had the Uncle Tom, you know, mm -hmm. the field nigga, the house nigga. You know what I'm saying? The house nigga, Malcolm said, was the nigga that had all the privilege. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he was, you know, he was a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the field nigga, you know, he, the master didn't like him. 
what I'm saying? The field nigga didn't like the master. So the field nigga said if the house burned down, the the the, the house nigga be like, oh man, we gotta get the we gonna we got to we gotta put this fire out. He said, we. He said, but the field nigga like, let that motherfucker burn. Burn, motherfucker, burn. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you got field niggas out here, you know what I mean? You got house niggas who, you know what I'm saying, I mean, they scared. You know what I'm saying? Right. They scratch where they don't itch, they bend where they don't right. have to bend, and they got this mentality that I can't embrace pimping, can because if I do, you know what I'm saying, I mean, the powers that be ain't gonna like it, but the powers that be is the ones that fucking with Jay-Z, the nigga that used to sell all the dope. They fucking with all these other gangsters and killers and shit out here, you know what I'm saying? All these niggas, you know, young thug, they said whatever they said about them, but they was getting money with them. They ain't mm -hmm. care, those people don't care about know what you do or what you did, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're not doing it now and it's making sense and it's making dollars, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But black folks you, don't black folks don't have that perspective. I wanna ask you about Ice T and that FFH uh uh dinner that I wasn't invited to that I'd love to be. You was invited. Man, I told you to you come out to New York. Remember, but you I, say, every move I make, I get it. Man. Every move I make, <laughs> I, I tell you. Said, nigga, I seen y'all, y'all looking good, man. I said, man, these niggas is looking good. He jumping out of the nice Rolls Royce. I said, man, damn, I missed it. Tell me about how that was. It seemed like I had a great time. It seemed like uh uh he you you named him as head of uh uh of hip hop fraternity, really. You like you wanted the heads. Now he's he's the uh Ab ambassador and advisor. Ambassador he, he, been, advisor. From, he was one of our first members. Wow. So when just we only had thirty members. Talk he to was me the about 30th it. Member. Talk how y'all put that meeting together okay, and what okay, it was all so, about. So 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 uh Richie Rich, uh MPR Richie Rich, MPR uh, um, uh P B Pluto, uh H two O uh Cash and uh Supreme, we got the All Star Mega Star uh, uh, we got the tour. So we all on tour. You know, why neck joined the tour. So you know we we on our way to uh New York. So I say Ice T, you know we shooting the movie, so I said, I gotta get one more scene. He said, what's the scene? I said, the scene of you signing a book for Richie Rich, NPR Richie Rich. Hey. So he said, all right, man, come on. So we brought the camera crew and everything. And so uh, I said, I ain't gonna bring that many people. He said, I said, fuck that. He said, bring all of them. I'm, I'm time taking everybody to dinner, man. Yeah. Fuck that shit, kid. So uh, Ice T told me to bring everybody. So he said, "Oh, I, I said, y'all, yeah, guess who, guess where we going?" They said, "Where we going to dinner with Ice T?" You know what I'm saying? So man, man they was elated because you got to remember Ice T, man, got what 25 seasons yeah, now, yeah. And you know he was the, one of the founders of yeah. West Coast rap and gangster rap. Yes, he was. So you know what I mean? He's an iconic figure. And, Love and, that and, dude, and man. them young people, man, you know me seeing, I've been around him all the time. But them young people sitting around him, man, I'm just looking at the face that he uh, Cash, Lit up. Cash, Cash, you know, uh, Jet Boy Cash was uh, there too. They were so elated, man. Yeah. And all they kept telling me was thanks, Ken, thanks, Ken. And I kept saying to Ice T, thanks, man, because you really made these people a day. Yeah. And if you notice, everything we asked them to do, you know, the the, the drops. The the commercials he did all that he didn't charge me a dime man. but a lot of what a lot of people don't know is that me and Ice T got a, a, a movie company you know what I'm saying me it's it's my company but he's a part owner and and uh, we doing uh this docu series called the making of autobiography of a celebrity so we actually documenting all of the book deals that we do and Ice T uh you know he's one of my business partners he's an equity partner in that you know what I'm saying so when I go and negotiate with Netflix and all those people you know a lot of people don't know I'm really a business man I mean no you don't see, See, yo, a lot of niggas, they, on, all man. they think about is Pippa Kid, but they don't know, man. We got a lot of man. million dollar deals on the side. You know, Richie Rich, you know, he, he's up there meeting with all these record labels, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got uh, 14 chapters in 14 states, you know? I mean, we, we all business, you know what I'm saying? Man. Man. And you don't understand that all that stemmed from being that fast thinker that you said you were from yeah. even when you were in the streets. Being a fast thinker, you saw the way how the era has changed and the way how money flow has changed and you had to get on it and you're like, okay, how can I get in this? How can I help? How can I do this? No, how actually, I when I did uh, Pimps Up, Hose Down in uh, yeah, I, 1995, I, yeah. I was the fast thing. Now, let me tell you something. I was at a player's ball, had my mink on, I'm popping shit. Some dude put cameras just like these cameras in my face. Hey, man, get the motherfuckers out of my face, homie, what's up? Ah, we HBO, y'all who? Let me holler at you, man. I said, look here, y'all do whatever the fuck y'all got to do in this motherfucker Chicago, but man, I got some real shit popping off in Milwaukee. Why don't y'all come to the meal, fuck with us, right? Because I knew, you understand me, we was going to take everything out of Chicago, mm -hmm. put it in the meal. So they came to Milwaukee, and I knew niggas in Milwaukee was really pimping, you know what I mean? They was really doing, they was about their life. So when they got to Milwaukee, I cut a deal that was so sweet. I said, the movie got to end with me, which you know it did. Yeah, it did. I said, my credit, my name got to be in the credits, which it was. Mm -hmm. And I said, I got to get more money than everybody. <laughs> 
Mm. And, and I, I said, did. And, and, I, and I did. And I said, I want to be the consultant for the film. So all them scenes you see in Vegas and all that, yeah. I, I was with them. So they was paying me all the way. And I said, one more uh, caveat. I said, I want to make sure that I can shoot my movie at the same time. So I had to buy cameras like this. Yeah. And we were shooting the movie Pimpology yeah. at the same time. So actually, it always been in me. Because, you know what I'm saying, me, uh, my partner, they wanted him, JD, they wanted him to be on the cover. Mm -hmm. So he told them, he said, man, give me a penny for every cover. You know what I'm saying, me? And that, that's just how we always thought. You know what I'm saying? Me and him, we just, we was always fast. You know, we yeah. were some young dudes, but we was always sharp, you know? So that led me to getting deals with Scriptmaster, with Southern Music Distribution, you know, working with, you know, a lot of people in the business industry. So that business side of me, you know, then you gotta remember, when they came, they was coming to my store. I had a store in downtown Milwaukee, a clothing mm -hmm. store. You know, because everybody said, Ken, you dress so nice. So I just, you, you know, store, yeah, right? and I had a grocery store too, you know, up, up on the east side where I'm from. So, you know what I'm saying? I always had that business sense about me. But, you know, one thing about me, I wrote, that's what my book is, The Art of Human Chess. My mind is more so like, I play the board. If he slapped me, this interview going to end differently. Mm -hmm. But as long as he's talking to me, I'm, I'm in it. So I don't know what he's going to do. If he asks me a weird question, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know what he's gonna ask me a question, but I play the board. So whatever, you know, it's like chess. You know, with his move, my move. I'm gonna let my move, my next move always be my best, best move. move. You know what I'm saying? Me and like even when them niggas was trying to down me and uh and say that I I I, I Beyonce and, and, and somebody had a, a, a mix yeah, a, yeah. a tape. Yeah, they kept on talking yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, they was trying to make it look bad, I turned it into a positive. Right. Definitely. It gave me an opportunity to go and promote hip hop fraternity. Correct. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that wasn't intentional. Y'all was the one who doing the interview. So mm -hmm. it, even though it was a negative, I turned it into a positive. No, so that's, I like the way you handled it. Yeah, that's just actually. how my mind works. You know what I'm saying? I like saying? the way I'm you handled it. Reaction, reaction to your wife's question. That's just, you, you know. You called me and everything, and we talked about it. People don't know, man. Like, we care about Pimps and Legacy. We're not here trying to, nobody won't even do all that. But like I said, I, I showed, you would send me things, I would send you things just saying, Here's the false narrative that they're trying to paint. And then also people that are on the outside. They're going to probably do it. Wait a minute. People one. tried to come out on the outside, bigger brands that been around longer than I have, and, and, and say, oh, you heard about the the the, the no, Pippa man, Kids. listen who Vlad, yeah, Vlad, Vlad, Vlad did Vlad, it. Vlad. I didn't want to just name him. No, but, no, but, but it but, wasn't just no, him. But listen, it was listen, others listen, used listen, that listen. too. I'm one of the first dudes that ever was on Vlad when he first came out. Oh, you out. was on Vlad? Yeah. Man, I was on Vlad. My, I had like 10 million views. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was How many times have you been on Vlad? I was on there one time. Okay. So, and, and, the, and the last time I talked to Vlad is when he was interviewing Grady okay. in Atlanta. So, I, I, I came in, in the middle of the interview because, you know, he don't interview for real. He interview behind a camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I it came in the interview and said, what's up, Vlad? Then I called him. I said, what's up, man? I said, man, you know, when are you going to have me on the show again? He, he said, he said, I'm thinking about it. He said, I, I got a, a busy schedule. So, when he asked Boosie, you know about the uh, uh, right. like, do you know he should have called you he, he should know you he should know I know Boosie I just said if he if he seen that yeah, interview he, he seen all the other Boosie. interviews saying that you know I got right. Boosie a book deal so you right. know I know Boosie and you know I know you Vlad I mean don't act like I'm a stranger you know but I knew you he before you know all these guys knew you right. so all he had to do was call me and that's why I put on the uh, on the Instagram Vlad Y'all tell Vlad to call me call and you. ask me about the tape. Exactly. I would give you, you don't ask Boosie, why would you ask Boosie about some tape? That, you know what I mean? He didn't have I mean, him on his, it was on the platform that wasn't even mean, centralized with that. It have nothing to do with nothing. Let me nothing. ask you a question. It, okay, so you did one interview with him before, a long time ago. Is there anything that happened between that interview well, and I, I, now I, where, I, I was kind of a little crazy back then. I, I don't want to say what, what happened, but it, I was a little okay, crazy. I, I knew it must have and, been something. You know, I mean, you got to remember. You got to remember. I've been paying attention most of my life. Right. I'm a little gangster. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that really know me know I'm I can be aggressive, you know what I mean? Sometimes I push up on niggas and I, you know what I'm saying? If I see, you know, nigga, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm not just that, you know, I'm not that regular dude. They'll tell you. I'm 58 years. I still, I'm still that way. You know what I'm saying? I don't play. I don't. I don't tolerate no sucker shit. I don't tolerate no weak shit. Right. So I'm gonna come if I see you being weak or you tripping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna confront you. Address you. It, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I may do it the wrong way, and 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 I think about. It. I said, damn, man, what the fuck? But you know, it it it, it can come out. But you say you do apologize because you apologize to Ti and you apologize when you said what you said about the you pimping know, back in the, the day. Pimping back in the day. So was it a thing where you maybe needed to go back to him and apologize for something well, that I, you did I, or said? 
I obviously don't know what it was because I, I actually <laughs> I, I tried to talk to him. So if I did anything wrong to Vlad, which I don't look in the camera and but, but but Vlad, if I did, I apologize, man. If I did something wrong, I do remember calling you one time and I was a little aggressive and I apologize for that. But it wasn't no disrespect, you know. It was just I guess I was trying to get in contact with him and he was busy and I was like, you know, woo woo. I even did the Ice T. I I text Ice T on on the thing. I said, nigga, what's up? Why you ain't answering my call? It just it's some it's just a little you know. I, Sometimes I get a little, you know, irritated, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean. Like I said, you know, I, I might respond to shit the wrong way, yeah. but it ain't intentional. You know, what I'm saying? it's just it's like it's like you know, like I said, you know, it's weird. It's a weird way to explain it, but it's like you know, when you're in the joint and you come up in the penitentiary all your life, you see weak niggas. You, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, you gonna press you know what I'm saying? So you know yeah. what I mean? Or oh, if a nigga see you weak, they gonna yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? They, so they, it they become a it's, it's like a penitentiary response. Yeah, it's yeah. not an intelligent response. So sometimes. People see me reacting as a penitentiary response. Just like what I said, you know, that almost got me killed. It was a penitentiary response. It wasn't no, you know, like, man, no real thinking, man. But, you know, that just come, but it'd be a madness and it'd be a response at the same time. I don't know if you had you experienced what yeah, I'm saying. No, no, I it's get like it. you you mad it. and you responding. That's the wrong That's time to respond. That's not the right respond. time to respond. You know, and, but, but, and, and, I, and I think I, I kind of. When you think about Vlad, though, you know, like I said, he he deals with most of the majority of the culture with our people, man. So I mean, you know, it probably ain't something that you guys. But, he, but he, he, can he I ask you a question though? That, though? CEO, can I ask you a question? Talk to me. Out of all the people Vlad in, 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 interviewed, you know, uh, Dirk and yeah, Bishop yeah, and all, all the people, them. don't y'all find it kind of strange that he didn't interview me? I'm the most. I'm no. I'm serious though. Let's be real. I'm the most. Yeah, you. I, nah, you but hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm the most. You know, uh, equipped dude at what I do in yeah. the game. You know, I know these guys is top of their game. You know, yeah. uh, 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 leaders of the games and you know, uh, ex drug dealers and all that. You know what I mean? I didn't been you on did forty know. million records. You know what I'm saying? I, did, I got books and shit. You, 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 you don't think that I'm not relevant to to interview Mr. Vlad in 2022? Oh, and all very the, relevant. And all the people that you interview collectively, I got more views, more exposure than all of them people collectively. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? The thing it's that something. I, the, the thing that I'm saying, if it's a problem, let me know. But I'm just saying, you know, I would have never, I ain't never addressed this issue until he asked Boosie. He opened mm -hmm. a can of wine. Yeah, he did. If he would have never asked Boosie, you know, he like it almost like I was lying. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So yeah. I said, you know, Vlad, talk to me. Talk to me, you know what I mean? Come to me, ask me some shit. Don't ask no boosty shit. If you want to be in this street shit, you want to fuck with black folks, you want to fuck with black culture, then you got to know how this culture go. We don't do that type of shit. You don't ask no another motherfucker about another <laughs> motherfucker. You come to that nigga, you ask that nigga, hey man, what's up? Otherwise, you, you, you're discounting me and you're making me look like I'm not real. And, and any motherfucker know, they know Pimp C was my best friend. I ain't going to be up here lying. And like I said, I'm on the show where this shit happened. Yeah, and you, yeah, you should yeah. know that, you know what I'm saying, we ain't bullshit. You know what I'm saying? His wife is here out here. It wasn't me meant to come out. It just came out. That's the but, way it go. And, and, like, he, and if, he, if he's a real journalist, which he is, he should be able to read between the lines. That's right. He, I, even if you look at the Boosie interview, Boosie said... Uh, Pimp would have never showed me. No, 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 no. Boosie said, yeah, I know Pimp can. Yeah, I definitely then, know Pimp watch the cutaway. You know I make movies. Yeah. So it's a cutaway. <laughs> so he, he, we don't even know if, what Boosie really said. Yeah, because you know might have Boosie might have said something like, man, I fuck with Ken or man, yeah. Ken my nigga or whatever. I really fuck with Ken. But it wasn't bad because it was bad. It would have been a talking point. It would have been a, cl a clickbait. He would have used it. it. Yeah. yeah, he would have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so the thing, I'm saying, I, I was at Boosie house, what? About a week ago, yeah. I'm gonna go to his house on Monday because okay. he got I, he got to sign these book things. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? He, he talked to Boosie all the time. He know and he see the interviews. He see all he know me and Boosie cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He know I was there when Pimp C Boosie would tell you when Pimp C signed them when they was all there. Uh, you was there. Man, I was right there with all of them. We used to be at the studio, all of us. When Boosie was a baby, I've been to Boosie first house in Baton Rouge. I know these niggas, like, man, I'm not just some regular nigga. I know Boosie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've been in these niggas' house. I know their mamas. I, I know their kids and shit. I know Pimp C. I know all these people, man. <laughs> No, you know what I'm saying? Real. I know all these people, 50, all of them. So, you know what I'm saying? I fucks with these people. I done been in many circles with these people, Puffy, all of them. So, I ain't just no regular nigga. No. That's why I'm saying any motherfucker that ain't interview, interviewing Pimp and Ken in 2022. It's, a, it's, it's, it's and, in last and, place. And, and, and the crazy yeah. thing, I done, or I done brought some culture. 
What? Some new culture. I, didn't put, I, I, I created history. Hip hop fraternity never you in the history of hip hop have it been an organization where people came together and ain't no fights. We had no fights or arguments. And brothers working out got two of the biggest independent artists in the country. That's. Uh, that I managed that's uh, on my board. Richie Rich is my president. Five million followers. Uh, 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 PB Pluto. Uh, uh, he's my vice president. Uh, almost a million followers and I'm not relevant? No. He I'm not relevant to this coach. I done been on 40 million records. I done work with everybody in hip hop but you can't interview me but you interview all these other people around me and you upset me but the only time you mention me is, it, is, in, is in a malicious way. Come wow, on, man. That's you know, crazy. Black, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool, man. You know what I'm man, saying? Man, a lot of people that came over here and shot that Vlad, man. They be like, man. But uh, you know what? But Columbus everything, but everything Columbus happens for a reason. But, and one thing you always would say, you know, I don't want nobody who don't want me. Yeah, you know, I always say that. No, but you know what? Me and Vlad, is, I thought we was cool. I'm telling you, the problem is not, the problem is not Vlad. The problem is that why would you mention my name to a nigga that mm -hmm. I'm cool with? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We business partners. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I mean, you you know, I don't say, hey man, fuck Vlad or hey man this or hey man that. You know he what I'm saying? Brought you up. Yeah. If, if if he wasn't gonna talk directly to you, I hear what you're saying. You wanna mm -hmm. talk to me if you're gonna talk about me. Yeah. Yeah, because you know already what level I'm on and what you say could be somewhat brushing up against what I do. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. And it make him make me think he think I'm weak or something. You know, like yeah. like you know, oh I can say this about Pippin Ken. Dude, I'm the most dangerous motherfucker out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, all the other niggas, they, they talk that shit, but, you know, nigga, every day a phone call away, away from me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, thank God I'm humble. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, so, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they talk to me. You know, you can't talk to talk about kid like I'm some puss ass nigga. No. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't ask no niggas something about me like I'm a sucker. Because, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with all the killers and the gangsters. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They all fuck with me. They they don't push your, you don't see nobody slapping on me. You see a bunch of young killers around me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We rally, yeah. end up changing their motherfucking lives, end up putting them on something positive. Do you think you know that, that's, that's, for a, real, that's a reason, man. though? A lot, a lot of bullshit. times people will uh, kind of, because, you know, people. I hate to say it, they'd rather see us at each other's throat mm -hmm. than to see us tr trying to really come together and help our people. See, that's like what that, that's man. what Damon Dyes was saying, that I'm he's serious, a culture vulture. Bro. That's why Damon Dyes said, culture vulture, why would you try to create division within the black community? You know what I mean? Why, why would you be divisive? You know what I mean? Why, right. why are you saying, hey man, Pimp and Ken uh, said that Pimp T got to, have you heard about that? Why would you ask Pimp and Ken? You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, so now Boosie, so he know Boosie goes off, yeah, 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 yeah. So now he want me and Boosie to be at odds and me and Boosie having differences and shit because Boosie might, you know, say something and be like, hey, man, woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now, you know what I'm saying? Me and, me and Boosie tripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when you crazy. When you could have just asked me. Mm. Now that's real. So, so I knew that it was it was malicious. You know what I'm saying? He, he can say what he want to say. And, and, you know, I didn't talk to him. I talked to him about six months prior to him. Tell, asking Boosie a question. I looked at him on camera. I said, what's up, Vlad? He was interviewing Grady. Grady can verify this, the dude that played Biggie. Yeah. So I'm not, you know, Steve-O from Infinite Record. I'm not lying. See, Pippa Ken, a real motherfucker. Everything no, I say, I, really I can know. back up. Yeah. You know, like I said, them niggas tried to kill me. You can call them niggas. They're, you know, them niggas, them niggas will verify that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll they tell you, yeah, that nigga Ken about that life. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. You one of the guys, man. Like I said, I, for the culture, I look up to. I love all the things that you've done. I think it's a lot of times people don't look at our people. Some you said early in this interview about bringing people together. You know what I'm saying? Like how you brought all of them together. How y'all all went up and seen Ice T. Like it's stuff like that. I did that, in the penitentiary. But it's stuff like that 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 people try to look away. All oh, black people can't get along. You show proof that black people can come together hey, man, with the right person. Can that, I say that's something? Leading it on, can I say bro? something that your audience need to? Say I ain't trying to cut no, you off. Go ahead. Listen, man. You had East Coast versus West Coast. Yeah. Death Row versus Best Bad Boy. Yeah. No limit, cash money, and so on and so forth. Right. You had all these record labels. You know, uh, Dipset and Rock. rock you know, Rock. You know, yeah, Jay Z. Yeah, Jay Z. Right all right. this, all this stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? That's divisive. It is. Why do you think the word hip hop? And fraternity, I can show you. I got the trademark. They just officially approved it today. I've been fighting for it for two years. Wow. Why do you think it was available? Because they never intended for niggas to come together. 
You know what I'm saying? Mean? All those executives up there, they, they feed our children debauchery and filth. You know what I mean? They let them talk about everything. They let them talk about killing. They let them talk about gang. They, you know, they they, they promote gang. Uh, they, like, they get a little Wayne 300 million for putting a tattoo on his face and a red, a red, red rag in his pocket. They get Snoop Dogg hundreds of millions of dollars of screaming bloods and crips. I mean, screaming crips. But you know what I mean? They don't know that that's affected our children. You know what wow. I'm saying? I mean, N Nipsey Hussle said to himself, man, Snoop, the reason why I wanted to be a crip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's brothers out here, they bloods because Wayne is a blood. Because everybody else that's, that's right. rich is blood. So, remember when we was young, we wanted to be Chris. Right? No, 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 we, no, we, no, we, we wanted to be, when we was young, what we wanted to be? We wanted to be Dr. J. Yeah, yeah Dr. J. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, Ir Julius Irving, yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Charles Barkley. Charles, Charles Barkley. Barkley. Nah, not Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now these kids, they see these rappers rich and having their way, they want to be rich. So they say, okay, to be, uh, 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 get a hundred million, I got to put a tattoo on my face, I got to go to jail, I got to, you know, shoot up the block, I got to shoot the ops up. This is the narrative that's been fed, you know, from the top down. But I know you're telling the truth because when I said people want to be Crips, it was a time when Snoop and them first came out, everybody was trying to be on that Crip wave. And then now, once once, once Lil Wayne, like you just said, everybody throw that be red, bloods now. you notice that whole wave? I seen the whole wave change to everybody want to be Crips at first, and then, then they tried to be and Bloods. If you after, look at, after, you after, that wave after hip hop. Now. But, 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 but if you look at them, look at the kids, man. They look so innocent. Yeah. They straight killers. Mm -hmm. these, yeah. These are the kids we used to be like, you know, we would see them walking, we like, oh, that's that's little Johnny, he's a good kid. I mean, clean cut, you know, nice looking guys, yeah. you know, look like they got a future, look like, you know, life gonna do them well. And they just straight killers. Straight killers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and they innocent. don't respect no older, even if you were street when you was younger and you come back, they're like, who are you? They don't yeah. know you. But they the, don't well, care. I, I, they don't do respect. I, I, I kind of beg you. They they respect me. That's what I was you about to saying? say. Certain leaders that get in position that they look up to because they know the foundation was built correctly. When you can relate to a pimp and kin who have been locked up, who have been in these situations, they'll respect that because they know. Problems. But they know so that all the young they, kids know you. No, the ones Listen, that that if you been if, if you walk with me through the mall or around some young people, you would be totally apart. These young people, it, we go to Big T's right now. I'm talking about from, oh, 18, from 18 to 80. They love me. Did you, you know what I'm saying? Because they know I'm real, mommy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm That's a real, real dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't act Hollywood or Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm just different. You know what I mean? And, you know, God just blessed me with a good spirit, man, to never try to, you know, because I always believe that, you know, your ego is your worst amigo. Let, let me say you know this. Lil Ronnie said when he was on here that he used to say, man, I used to go over there and see Pepper King, man, he showed mm -hmm. me so much love. We met, man, that big team. my stove? Man, he loved it, man. He brought you up on the show. Another kid, I talked to a kid earlier today, a youngster, 3G Slash. He said, man, we was at South by Southwest in 2017, man, and I dropped my necklace, man. We was running. Now, I gave him back to he him. He said, and you Pepper King that? gave me yeah, that gave necklace back, to back him. bro. I said, he said, man, he probably on, he on he yeah, I remember, man. I remember. I remember. I'm serious. I remember. You know, slash, slash. It was like a little doughboy. It was a doughboy. That's it. That's my boy. Piece. Yeah. So, so, you know, they was some shooting or something. That's what. And the niggas just ran out, and 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 the girl, she fell and she grabbed this chain. Yeah. And it fell out. So I chased him down. I said, "Man, dog, you lost your chain." And it probably worth about forty, fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. That's what type of dude. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just it ain't got nothing to do with. Me trying to get, because I, I didn't know he was going to say this. This is yeah. what, no, two we, years ago. No, yeah, I told yeah. him. But that's, that's but good. That's it. cool for you to, because some people would have seen that fella and took it and pocketed or took it and sold it or whatever. This nigga and real, man. And you ran after him and gave it back to him. A lot of people wouldn't even do but that. I can't, I can't, you want me to tell you how many murders I didn't stop? You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many <laughs> niggas I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't saved. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, niggas, I kept from getting stabbed in the penitentiary. See, they don't, they, they don't know these things about me because I don't want no credit for them. You know, that's why the people that's my friends that's been down with me, they still cool with me. I don't have a jealous bone in my body. My partner, he got a million dollars of property. We was on the phone today. My man JD, I'm studying praising him. Like, bro, you doing good, man. Woo, 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 woo. And he want to hear it. He don't want to hang up because he said, damn, it's a nigga that ain't hating. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, damn, I always tell them good stuff, man. You know, you, you got to keep, you know, even when they go crazy, I tell them, man, listen. I said, man, dude, you fucking up, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, quit talking to motherfuckers. They, everything you see behind my back gonna come back to me. I said, don't trust these motherfuckers. They're gonna put you in a twist. So you know what I'm saying? I mean, instead of saying, nigga, fuck you, I don't fuck with you no more, I'm I'm addressing the situation. Like, bro, I understand. I know you didn't meant that shit. 
Motherfuckers will talk to you, they'll get you caught up in some shit, and next thing you know, you talking and you don't really realize that you're gossiping right, right. and you're participating right. in another hater's affair. Mm -hmm. This nigga's a fucking he hater, but he ain't got you. Yeah, you know, and you know, like, I got a thing I'm gonna do called Little, little Dude. And little mama, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people got the little dude, the little mama complex. So little dude, right? He's a, he's a rapper. You know, he get out there. You know, he got a successful song. You know, he he blow him up. The DJ's playing this music. The nigga get all the way to you know hot 97. You know what I'm saying? Then he go shoot up the block. You know, mm. little dude complex, you know, self-sabotage. Right. You know, little mama, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, she been messing with crazy niggas all her life. You got three, four baby daddies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Me, she meet a gentleman at the mall, you know what I'm saying, me, who compliments her and tell her how beautiful she is, and then he start taking her out to eat, he start opening the door for her, you know, he, he doing all the men things that women talking about men don't never do. What she do? Her baby daddy call her, you know what I'm saying, me, for a booty call, she go get a right booty right. call. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, me, and now, you know what I'm saying, me, he's tripping, and now she, little mama is self sabotage and she ain't with this dude no more. I got two questions for you. Um, the first one is, you go through a lot of situations. You have a lot of people who have bit you in the back over the period of time. How do you learn how to trust somebody again? Do well, you, you trust anybody around you? Well, you know, I, I got to say, most people start at your feet and they end up at your throat. You know, whoever can do you good can also do you harm. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the least, least appearance of evil, expect the greatest amount of danger. That's my principle. So me having that understanding, right. I got what you call the 25% bullshit. You know, I get everybody 25% of bullshit. You can bullshit me up to 25%. You get past twenty five percent, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you know, bad news might beat you home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, let's keep it at a minimum, you know what I'm saying? But don't try to go too far, don't go overboard with the bullshit. So, you know what I mean, even with women, you know, I deal with women, I expect a certain amount of bullshit. You know, I mean, I know I'm not meeting you, I'm meeting your representative. This is not really you the makeup and, you know, all that stuff is all that. But you know, when it come down to it, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, you're living on three cans and a forty ounce. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got ninety kids. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, your your refrigerator, your house is dirty. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you 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 can expect that. But when you see her in the club, you know, she look like uh, Miss Universe. You know, she look like, you know, like she need to be in Look Magazine. She look like her mama should have had triplets. She's so fine. But, you know what I'm saying, when you really meet the person, and the same thing with these dudes. Everybody, Ken, man, I die for you. I woo, 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 woo. You know what oh. I'm saying? I remember one time, uh, this person, man, this, I was, I shouldn't say this. I hope they don't take it the wrong way. But uh, this young lady was saying, Daddy, that's when I was, Daddy, I love your pimping. You know what I'm saying? I said, you don't love my pimping. She said, Daddy, I love your pimping. So I said, okay, come on. Let's, we was at the Harvard Johnson. Come on, let's go out to the swimming pool. So uh, I said, I grabbed her by the hair and I put her head in the water. I said, uh, baby, what you love? I love your pimping. So I put her head in the water again. He said, I said, baby, what you love? Air, motherfucker. <laughs> air. I said, air, nigga, you crazy, motherfucker. Nigga, you crazy. I said, I said yeah. I said, I said don't tell me you love me. Oh, I got to get in here. No, one more question. Go ahead. My last question for this moment yeah. no, we about to shut it is, down. Um, can we do a segment called Prison Confessions, right? Yeah. And you were talking about things that you had done in prison to separate you know, people from getting killed and stuff like that. Give me one instance that when you were in prison that you you know, you know, helped someone. Well, I give you one where I almost got killed. Okay. So this is a confession. A lot of people don't know. This is how I became uh, you know, part of, of the more science tip. Dang, I was, how many times you almost got killed? Well, you know, you in this game, you're gonna get killed almost. Get, I'm, I can get killed as soon as I get walk out this door. We in the, we, we in, we in the streets, you know what I'm saying? This shit. The streets don't love nobody. You get killed with by accident and bullet. Niggas trying to rob you. Niggas mad right. cause the bitch like you. You know it's all kind of shit. Niggas will kill you for. So I'm in the joint and uh, I'm going. I'm in the feds. Mm -hmm. This is my first time ever in there. You know okay. what I'm saying? Me. So and I'm at MCI uh, Chicago. Uh, so uh, this dude he 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 grabbed the phone and he said, "Yeah, man, this the mole phone, the Moors. You know the Moors, the Moors mm -hmm. Science Temple. This that this this they phone." So, you know, where I come from, the state joint, Green Bay and Walt Pond, you know, when a nigga do that, that's a challenge for you to whoop his ass or him to whoop your ass. So, you know, I'm thinking this nigga want to box. Okay, like, nigga, cool. You know, I had good skills. You know, I'm ready to throw him with him. You know what I'm saying? So, I really used the phone. I'm like, yeah, nigga, you know, come on, nigga. We finna, nigga, I'm finna show these niggas, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no hole in my blood, nigga. I'm finna, I'm finna make my name off your bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm thinking, right? And then, 
uh, uh, OG named Penitentiary Sam, may he rest in peace. Everybody in Milwaukee know who he is. Penitentiary Sam said, man, you know, cause he, you know, he, he talk, he does like, the, man, you fucked up, man. That was the mold. He said, man, them niggas talking about killing you, right? I said, nigga, what I do? Over a phone? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how the feds work at the time. Right. I was like, this is crazy. These niggas finna kill me over a fucking phone? So I said, who the leader? He said, brother named Ross Bay. So I went to Ross Bay and I talked to him. I said, Say, well, you know, I said, man, what the fuck is going on? Man, I mean, you niggas tripping out the phone? And then he got to talking. He said he was from, uh, uh, he's from Gary, Indiana. So we talking and, I, you know, my, I'm laced. You know, you know, I got a lot of gays. So we popping and he liked the way I talk. He said, you little slick little young nigga. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he said, damn, nigga, I fucks with you. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how we got cool. And he said, man, you need to try this out. So he gave me what they call the Holy Quran, the Circle 7. It's, it's not the real Quran. It's, a cir it's I guess, it's the Moorish real Quran. It's a Circle 7. So I started reading it and stuff. And I started going to their little meetings because then that was the only way you can get out of, out the, <laughs> out out the, out, no, out the dorm. Okay. So, you know, because, you know, they go to the chapel and meet. So okay. it, it was a way for me I to get out it. the door because, you know, I definitely wasn't going to go to church. Right. You know, because church was like a taboo. You know, niggas didn't go to church. You know, that, those was, they were considered the niggas that were soft. So, you know, either you go to the mosque okay. or you go to the Nation of Islam or you go to the Moorish Science mm -hmm. Temple thing. So I went to that shit and, uh, and I became a Moor. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that was, crazy. You soft if you go to church. Well, you know, you know, brothers in church is like, brother, I love you and Jesus love you. The, you know, uh, the nation of Islam, the white man is the devil, and yada, 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 you know, and, 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 and the Muslims, you know, they, they real poised and, and gentlemen like, and, you know, they all stick together. So it was different, you know, different. You, you. you had to make, you didn't you. want to pick the, you know, a lot of people did pick Christ, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because most of them probably was preachers or they was affiliated with the church before they came in. But, you know, if you wanted to be, you know, with some, 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 some strength, you had to be with some gangsters. Yeah, you know, all the gangsters went, to the Muslims Muslim or work. Nation okay, of Islam, you. you know what I'm saying? Man, um, <clears throat> you know, I definitely, uh, I love every time you come through, man. Appreciate you for sh stop, stopping through Boss Talk 101, right? Last time we was, you got four sisters. Mm -hmm. You got four sisters. Four sisters. You end up, you grew up in the same house with the four sisters? Yeah, it was nine of us. What did they ever say about you being you becoming a pimp? Well, uh, you know, my daddy was a player. <laughs> So, you know, we grew up in the game. You know, my uncles was pimps. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it was, this This ain't foreign to us. This was like a lifestyle. Okay. You know, you got to remember, man, my daddy was at one time one of the biggest players in the city. My uncle, Greasy, you know what I'm saying? He was a big player. And then all their friends was players. They always used to meet up at our house. Jim Danny, uh, Pee Wee Fergus, Big K, they always used to gamble. You know how mm -hmm. niggas would come to yeah, niggas' house and gamble? So I'm the little young dude. I'm the fly on the wall sucking up all the game. You know what I'm saying? So my mama, you know, she was married to my daddy. My daddy, they came from Mississippi together. My daddy just was like, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get this money. This is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? One of you stay there and take care of them kids. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go woo, 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 woo. And he loved my mama. He didn't put my mama down. He loved her. They was doing their thing. How long were they married for? Shit. Till he died. From 16 till, she, till he died. That's 67. so crazy. Because when you think about somebody who's a player or a pimp or anything like that, you're not thinking about them. That ain't how it know. was down south. You got to remember see? it's called the Great Mi Migration sister. Mm -hmm. So the Great Migration you know, a lot of people think the South is, like, they think Dallas is South. They think all these people are slow, but it's really not slow. Y'all mm -hmm. really fast, like, y'all know how to sell dope better than niggas in oh, the city. Yeah. You know, y'all got way more game. And my father and they from the South, they was playing. So, you know, when they came up here, they came up here with the dice game, all kind of game. So, you know what I'm saying? But they, they family men, though, mm -hmm. you know. But the street people, you know, the city people in Chicago was, they was hoes already. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? You got a country nigga, you know what I'm saying? Me, let's say a, a country nigga from Dallas, he come, he got, he, he got, he got candy paint and he, and he got them bowls and shit, you know what I mean? He riding slab and shit, you know what I'm saying? And he, gra he whipping grain, gold teeth in his mouth and he got a country slang, but he got plenty of game. Wow. That's gonna attract them city women. You know what I'm saying? They're like, Cause that's different than right. say a city dude. And that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, that's that's how that got One to One more thing, uh, uh, the verses. You was down there in Atlanta when they did the verses. Did you even, you, were, you, did, you did you see it or no? The one nah, with uh, well, Bun B well, and... Uh, well, you know, you know you know me, man. You know, I'm, I'm a Pimp C uh, fanatic. So, correct. So, you know, if Pimp ain't with it, you know, I ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? So, if Pimp ain't there, you know, it ain't gonna feel the same It ain't gonna me. feel the same. You know what I'm saying? Me? But, you know, I respect Bond and I respect A-Ball and all them, but, you know, it's hard to to, you know, when, when people don't, like, I, don't, I barely go to Houston. Yeah. You know, I barely go to Houston because, you know, Memories. it's like, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like, man, 
it ain't too often, man, you gonna meet a dude, man, that's light skinned and I'm dark skinned. <laughs> Say, Ken, I'ma play you. <laughs> it's all on the internet. Go see it, y'all. I'm playing Pippa Ken. Like that nigga love me so much. He don't want. He said nobody playing Pippa Ken but me. <laughs> nigga, how you gonna play me? Nigga, you light skinned. Nigga, you understand? Know nigga, nigga, like damn, Ken put motherfucking bleach on his face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that nigga, but the nigga, the nigga was just that. Hey man, the nigga, we just had such a bomb. Man, I don't even know how that shit. Me and I see the same way, man. It's yeah, like yeah. it's just certain niggas, man. They get it. They yeah. know who the fuck I am. They know what I represent. They know I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Me yeah. and Pimp knew that. Yeah. You know, he knew that. You know what I'm saying? I went to, I'm telling you, man, we went to his mama house, man. We stayed up all night, and that's when the sex tape came up. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I was showing him my, my shit, and he showed me his shit. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Me, he was like, man, woo, 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 woo. You know what I mean? How many sex tapes did he show you? It was just one, one. one sex <laughs> tape. Shanking. It was a sex tape. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if you know Pimp, he's very, uh, Antagonistic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he's like, man, fuck them niggas, man, bitch ass nigga, <laughs> woo woo woo, ho ass nigga, Ken. I mean, a lot of niggas, man. If I if I told some of the truth, and everybody, it's a lot of niggas, man. Pimp C didn't like a lot of niggas that rap. Are you some said your, that last time. Some of your biggest rappers, he didn't fuck with them. You know what I'm but, saying? Okay, I never met him, don't know him. I just hear stories of him, and the way how I think of him when I hear these stories, if he don't mess with you, if he don't like with like you, he not gonna be around you. Is that true? Well, Pimp, he he he. Are oh, he still going? No, 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 play no, the no. Game. Like, okay, in one instance, I give it up. Uh, you know, him and Jeezy got into it. Remember, I told you yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Well, he wanted to, you know, rekindle that relationship. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was some other shit that happened. Now, it's certain thing. See, Pimp ain't more so about relationship. He more so about sucker shit. So okay. if he see. You know, like he said, Russell Simmons this, and he said this person this and that person that. If he sees some shit or Atlanta niggas, you know what I'm saying, you know, this or this or that, his perspective is like what he see. You know, everything, you know, because I studied the nigga. I'm like, man, this nigga going to get me killed. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I was like, I watch this nigga, right? So he'll say some crazy shit, and then, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, like, it's like, I, I, I guess the best we say, he call a spade a spade. Mm-hmm. No, if he sees your, he said, uh, 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 one rapper said it, uh, I don't know, I think it was uh, uh, Boosie, he said, Pimp C, said, looked at the girl feet, said, man, that bitch got some ugly ass feet, man, you know what I'm saying, man, man, get that bitch out of here, you know what I'm saying, that's how crazy he is, you know, he just, I mean, he'd do some shit like that, or we'd be on the radio, and he'd say something, you know, but when he came home for for about a few few months, he was kind of poised. So when he start playing with his nose again, he start fucking with that shit, you start seeing the rants again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I mean like, I fuck with him when he was fucking with the shit. I fuck with him when he wasn't fucking with the shit. I fuck with him when he started back fucking with the shit. Cause it's my little brother. You know, it's my little brother, man. Did you ever think all those times when y'all were together that you guys was, that like right now, that's, I mean, it's a lot of the conversations that's going on on a lot of platforms, a lot of podcasts, especially in the South, and not only in the South, you hear them everywhere. Did you think when you guys was walking in that whole era that it would be something that would be talked about like it is now? Well, you know, I mean, history, out of all things, Elijah Muhammad said, history is best recorded reward all studies. So, you know, you know, everything we didn't say from this point on, for instance, we've been here, is history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, Every, every second you make a history, and it's 84,600 seconds in a day. You know what I'm saying? And out of all that, you know, every second is history, you know? And it's past tense. I just hit that table, that's past tense. You know what I'm saying? You can say, man, I remember Pippa Kid came, man, he hit, hit my that table. table. See what I'm saying? So that's what history is. That's how God designed us. You know, he designed us to be able to reflect because from history, you know what I'm mean? saying, you can learn from history and you can better predict the future. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why we understand climate change and all these other things. So, you know, it was necessary that, you know, all the things that went on with Pimp C and, you know, with Bum B and, you know, with other in entities, you know, the East Coast, Tupac and all that was necessary that that happened that we get to the point that we are today. I want to know your opinion on something. I, I don't think I've ever asked this, this question. This is the last before. question. Right. Right. Baby. Because he got me into his Pimp, Pimp C stuff that he, I end up loving That's Pimp C. That's married, man. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm so curious about this part because you talk about him running his mouth and the way how he was very outspoken and how he spoke. But I know when he passed away, they say he passed away from his sir. Is that how he passed we away? We don't know. So, we but don't I want to know your opinion on this. Do you think it's because of his running his mouth what got him killed or did 
from natural causes? Well, you know, uh, I mean, I'm from the east side, right? And I, I'm connected with the, the brothers in Mississippi. Right. So, you know, uh, the Goon Committee and all them, you know, uh, the east side gangsters, you know, we we let it be known. Y'all put your hand on pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a price to pay. So, you know, niggas knew that pimp was well protected. Of course, you know, Jay Prince now was over there. They had, right. you know, had a, a blanket over Miss Well, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was like pimp was never in no danger. Niggas knew they couldn't just push up on pimp. You know, I mean, my, my east side niggas was like, you know, whatever, you know, and they, they strong, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of my niggas, you know, Gino down in Mississippi, you know what I'm saying? He so you was, think his natural causes? Well, I put it like this, that if it was complicit, if it was uh, malicious, somebody put something in the cert. That's what I was thinking. They probably gave him too much cert. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if he died, the cert, you know, cert, you know, he was telling me about some cert. What you tell me about the 10 and the 12, all that, some shit you were saying about, because, you know, he, he had, a, uh, they used to get him cert because he had bad leg. You know, he had, um, he had a major heart attack. So, you know what I'm saying? What, uh, Cash, yeah. what was that cert shit you say? The purple is what? Uh, the purple uh, lane. Yeah, it's more stronger? Yeah, it's more, it's more strong as well. So cert can actually help you? Well, it's, it's just, I always thought it was pain. No, it's for it's just pain, pain and it's for you know it's for coughing and shit. Right. You know, niggas is just using it <laughs> crazy. They, I mean, like it's like a motherfucker uh, sniffing glue. That's the same thing what it is. It's like right. motherfuckers is tripping. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They they want to get high too motherfucking bad. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that shit is meant for medical use. You know what I'm saying? When you look at all the people that they relate to, uh, say whether it's DJ Screw, whether it's Big Mo, all these different people that they always associated talk, associate with this syrup man i mean you know but it's a lot of ways that people go through things it ain't just syrup it's drug now it's this new thing that they got fit no fit no mm. you know what i'm saying it's always gonna be something before that it, even when i remember when the cold. ecstasy pills and all that stuff first was popping it was ways where I, the narrative is always turned i just think that man you know at, at, my mama time was a chicken bone boy what i'm saying boy, <laughs> chicken sure. bone yeah, my mama what is said that? people uh, you know, Never pe- heard of chicken people bone. People said a chicken bone. You like know, a chi- real chicken bone. Yeah, like like you know they like in the Mississippi. You know they used to eat the chicken. You know what I'm saying? And people used to just just swallow it, and they used to die for chicken bone. Oh, so never now, heard now, that before. Yeah, now they you know they say you got to watch out for the chicken bone. Yeah, that and that was big in Mississippi. So you know, it's yeah. always some shit. You know, that, something always yeah. happens. That's all I was saying, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, I can't wait to talk to the other two from uh, y'all. I got to say it like them. H A J L. You niggas got a, sl- a whole damn slogan, man. You know what I'm <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.